anybody who comes to tell that your husband is cheating on you, the moment you move out, that same person who told you that your husband is cheating on you moves in and takes over your husband. But I want to appeal to all of you, give yourselves a chance. Hmm? Let it not be said that our girls are useless, that they can't stay with their husbands. It's not good news at all. I don't like it. I don't. Each time I hear it, it pains me. You all know that veteran actor Pete Edoche is the father of popular Yol Edoche, whose stardom right now has risen to the highest of places. Now, people have asked, like, what is Pete Edoche's stand on the whole saga of his son, his last son, actually, getting married to a second wife? Most people have thought about the fact that Pete Edoche has been known for many years because of his acting in Nollywood. Now, Peter Doche is well respected in the Nollywood space because growing up, a lot of us watched him as that man figure, that, that man that could do anything in movies. Now, we know when it comes to movies, eh? Now, right away, they give person nine person they play. So, they are playing the roles that they gave them. And even when you look at it in real life, Peter Doche still has that kind of demeanor, like somebody who is in charge and all those things. But we cannot judge Peter Doche based on the movies that we have seen him act for years. Now, this interview that I played earlier on was an interview where he, the video that I played earlier on was an interview he had talking about his take on marriage in Nollywood. And you could hear what he said. He talked about not wanting women to leave their marriages. I'm going to play other clips for you so that you have an idea what he thinks about marriages and maybe women leaving their marriages. Because according to what Peter Doche is saying, you have to stay in your marriage, you know, don't leave your marriage for another person to enter. Right. If you say that your husband is cheating on you and now decides to take many more wives, what are you going to do? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. If you think that your husband leaves the house, says it's going on tour, and he's going to have an affair outside, put a packet of condom into his bag. Tell him your part is bad for him. When he sees it, psychologically, he's going to think, this woman has my interest at heart. If it is his intention to stray, he will pull himself together. But the point that you women are not even creative, no. You want to be like white women who keep marrying and divorcing and marrying. It doesn't suit us. It doesn't go down well. With us. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, if man wants stray, stray he will. He's gonna stray. Ah, Uncle Pete said that we, women are not creative. So basically, if your husband cheats on you, it's because you are not creative. You have to be very, very creative so that if a man wants to travel, you have to stock his bag with things that will help him not to cheat on you. So if he wants to cheat on you, maybe he will not bring back something that will infect you back home. The reason why they make this video now because people don't talk about, say, yo, what does your father think about what you are doing? Your father is not in support of all these things you are doing. I'm not saying that his father is outrightly in support of what he's doing, but his father has made plenty videos over time, making it sound like all that women are made to be an exist for is to serve their husband is to be there for their husband being there for your husband is not a bad thing but not at the detriment of your mental health of you know when you are outrightly being insulted all the time in public because that's what, because that's what y'all has been doing to his wife all this thing all these notes and essay where you're on the right things now it just it just insults me you understand and to see what it's pity though chase take on divorces on broken marriages you will understand why <laughs> i don't know I don't think that there's anything that he's going to do to y'all because y'all is a full-blown adult who has taken his decision. But now because of people where they ask, say, what's the father think about this? This video is how they play for you. He's showing what the father thinks about all these divorce cases. People should stop breaking up. That's what he's saying. Such a baby. I, I can't take nonsense. It is because she can't take nonsense. That's why she's not married, right? And she would remain, remain unmarried because she can't take nonsense. But hey, pull yourself together. The person you're married to is a human being. Show a man love. Prove to him that whatever it, he thinks, the other women have, that you also have. If he is obsessed with kinky sex, give it to him. When you have the responsibility, you have the power to keep your husbands. Don't keep losing them. It doesn't make sense. No. The only thing with all these things that um, Uncle Pete is saying is that this is the kind of advice that most people his generation are going to give. Funnily. Because now, do anything to keep your husband. In all this whole speech they don't give, they never talk anything about, say, men or yeah, get sense. Eh? Get sense. See, say, this woman and you don't date. They, do, they fight this battle together. You people are working together. You can actually decide to be disciplined. There is no place of discipline for the men. It's about the women. How you did not keep your husband. How you did not give kinky stuff enough. How you were not, um, you did not do all the styles enough to keep him. It's about just keep your husband. Anything he does, even when he goes astray, bring him back. Keep him. Do you understand? All these things that just they bring down women's self-esteem. So anytime 
that a woman's husband actually goes astray it's like what did you not do right they're asking the woman what is the thing that you did wrong what could you have done better to keep your husband nobody is saying that this woman probably has done all the things that she could have done and the man just decides saying just be wild you just won't be you just want this stray saying that stray now in different DNA and there's nothing you can do or say to a grown man that's going to make a grown man that wants to cheat not to cheat if you like the snake in the monkey shadow he's gonna cheat if he wants to cheat women shall still begin to need to begin to know say they are the prize woman you are the prize so now after you've had so this is snippet so these are some just one one tiny part of what that the or the numerous kind of videos that or the interview that um peter doce holds that the kind of things that he always says about women and how he thinks that women should be towards men so imagine i'm not even saying that maybe he's clapping for his son because he has been with his wife for as long as they've been married one wife that we know about and yes we know that he's a staunch catholic so yes obviously he believes in one man one woman but just imagine probably what he would be telling his son right now you understand he might not be in support of it but <laughs> with all these videos it's not like he's totally 100 against it you understand so those way they ask me for this thing say um when they ask say what will peter Doche be saying what do you think he's saying about this one nobody knows what he's telling his son inside the house but what i want you guys to know too is that you cannot hold people that you don't know in high esteem because most, most people have been saying that they've been heart broken by all the Doche. me nobody's breaking my heart. people i don't know on the internet don't let anybody break your heart about things you don't know people's marriages you don't know anything about it unless what they show you so if you're looking for marriage goals people that you see on the internet are they cannot be your marriage goals. Look for people that you can see at least face to face, day to day. Medals will be your married goals, or better yet, you and your spouse make una be each other's married goals. You understand? You cannot be, oh, I expected much from this person. Yes, we can expect more, but not be saying one person behave like in supposed behave. You can't, you can't be breaking your head about somebody's um, way, way the person behaved. You understand? But what I like all, to always say is that take lessons from all these things. Don't come and be thinking that um, Peter Doche is, you know, knowing all knowing you understand he's a human being too like he said the person you are married to is a human being forgetting that the woman too you are married to hurting and expecting her to be at your feet all the time is also a human being we are all human beings unless they're acting like human beings every time african men make mistakes they say they are human beings they, they don't know better but you hardly i'm not saying african women don't make mistakes in their marriage but i'm saying that majority of the times when women make mistakes you don't see society saying that they are human beings they do not know better and they're not saying that they're not supposed to behave like this they know they know if you pardon them say they be human beings but most times men will still behave anyhow they want to behave anyhow and they go say they were human beings or they are human beings so women too are human beings so let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section. I want to know what you think about this video. Since the beginning of this series, because now series now we did this on episode 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10. And on the shout, say, women, men, teach your daughters high to, to have their self-esteem should be up there. Because now you go make all these things. You know, those videos that your, um, Peter Dutcher even made, I did not even want to put all of them here. There, even, there was even one he said that if you buy your your wife, your child a car for her wedding, you should buy your child, your daughter a car in her husband's name. Like <laughs> are you serious so that the marriage will stay so you should buy your daughter a car in her husband's name knowing that what women go through these days in any small breakup they break up and they come out with nothing then you should buy your daughter a car in the, in the husband's name so that to boost the man's ego it's always about the man's ego so you've seen what peter doce thinks nabi so uncle pete we love you but just stick to the movie stick to nollywood this relationship advice i believe it because all this trying to boost men's ego is the reason for a lot of abuse in marriages because women go day they want to boost the master ego look at osinachi trying to make him lord and master of the house and you are suppressed to your end you understand now all this ego they try to pump like havoc now that they pump tire now it be the reason for all this most of this violence and domestic issues for house so be cool i beg leave just stick to the movies eh I'm going to end this video here. I hope that you enjoyed watching. Oya, leave me a comment in the comment section. Make I know what you think about this video. Thank you so much for watching. Oya, like, oh, subscribe. Oh, Oya, thank you. Bye.